Hi there. So, if you aren't aware why I'm making this video, let me give you a bit of context. So, around on 20th August, around 1 a.m. at night, I found a major vulnerability in uh, Striver's A to Z platform, uh, which was that only by using their email, I could log into their account, whether it is premium or not. So, to demonstrate that, I logged into Striver's account himself, and uh, after that, I posted it on LinkedIn. I didn't. Uh, tell people how to do it just posted it and posted it on <coughs> posted it on x and reddit and all so uh, after that a lot of drama unfolded but that is not my concern here uh, i'll tell you what my thought process was and how i proceeded in my way to add another thing uh, i did not cause any harm to their products and generally i tell that hacking is bad uh, i just demonstrated it i didn't do anything with it a lot could be done so it was just poor engineering on their behalf uh, this shouldn't have been there i'm not a very good engineer like i am a third year undergrad student i shouldn't be able to uh, pinpoint these things out so yeah i'll demonstrate you how i did it and what was my thought process now yeah so just another heads up i used burp suite for capturing uh, and intercepting the requests it has a lot of features such as intruder repeater scripts and uh, parallel requests and intercept most important so yeah i use that and i would recommend you use that as well before i begin uh, telling you how i exploited the si exploited the system uh, let me give you a brief uh, architecture of how uh, oauth and jwt works so uh, i am assuming you know what jwt is if you don't uh, go to this link and uh, learn a bit about uh, jwt it is a very basic concept and uh, it isn't that tough so once once you have read about it uh, you can continue from here so uh, this is the client side of the Striver's website, Striver's frontend, and uh, there is this option of uh, login by Google. This this option is very common, and uh, this is pretty common. Yeah. So what it does is uh, it sends the requests to uh, sends the request to Google server, and Google in in turn vouches in for you by sending a custom made uh, custom made uh, not custom made but uh, a JWT token that is provided by google that is provided by google itself provided by google itself google right and this is oauth yeah so once this is done uh, what this driver's front end does is uh, it sends another request to its own backend uh, this is basically driver's backend and what it does is uh, it takes in jw token that was provided by google and uh, uh, it should actually verify and then extract information and send another JWT that is custom made by Striver server that uses its own uh, its own uh, private key private key combination. Yeah, so uh, I should have a custom backend JWT that could that would be my main JWT for all my future logins and key uh, whenever it is required. And using that custom JWT, I can access all uh, all the contents in the platform using that custom JWT. Now, this is the ideal case. What should have happened? So, what didn't happen is this: using my Google email, I went to OAuth. OAuth gave me JWT of my email and some other fields. Now, this JWT was perfectly fine. Uh, I sent this JWT to JWT.io, where I decoded the JWT. JWT can be decoded fairly easily. It's not that tough, and all the fields are visible. So using the same fields, I made a custom JWT, uh, but the only difference I made there was that the email was the person's email who you wanted to impersonate. So after that, there is another field known as signing. Uh, so this Google sets their signing to some private key combination. Uh, I'm not very sure about that. You can read about that. So I just set signing to none and uh, made a custom JWT. And this, this was the bad Google JWT for other person's email. So this bad Google JWT for other person's email was basically as if other person logged in from Google. For example, Striver logged in from Google and received this JWT. This bad JWT was sent to Striver's backend. And the main main thing was that this did not verify JWT at all. It did not verify signatures, uh, Google Google signatures, it did not verify. And it, it, it returns the custom JWT for anyone's email. The same email that was mentioned in this bad Google JWT for other person's mail, and 
if this sends here, then I have the JWT of anyone's email. And using that, I was able to access that person's account. Now, this is the JWT I received from Google. I've censored a lot of fields here, although they are not very important, but still I've censored them. Here, you can see the custom JWT that I made by modifying a lot of values here and there, and also by setting the type on security to none, as you can see in the picture itself. Now, this was a very major bug, uh, hacking into anyone's account just by using their email, not even password required. Uh, I also made a 40 minute video from, from starting to execution to the end. Uh, I knew something would come, come up. Uh, I started it from zero. Uh, I won't be showing it here because it contains a lot of uh, private information and phone numbers as well. So I'll censor it and post a drive link soon in the future whenever whenever I have whenever I have time. So other than that, uh, once I discovered this, I posted it on LinkedIn and a lot of other platforms indicating uh, that the bug was there, but uh, not telling them the steps to reproduce. Uh, I also said I wanted a heavy bounty, uh, which, which yeah, I, I did, I did, I did deserve it, but that is out of my concern. So as far as tech is confirmed, this was basically it. Uh, it might look very easy to some of you, but when you're finding a needle in a haystack, it becomes pretty tough. Other than that, there is a lot of drama going on on social media and all. Uh, I had I had a text with uh, Raj. Uh, he I get his point of view. I think he gets mine as well. So we are cool about that. Uh, other than that, we all got stuff to do. Even I got stuff to do. I can't get very involved. So yeah, this is basically it for the video. Uh, you can leave any suggestions if you have in the com comments. Other than that, uh, I'll make a new video soon uh, whenever I have time. Other than that, yeah, that's it. Bye. <laughs>